Hello and welcome to the Simplified Astro Observatory. Um, now this video today is a relatively complex subject but I'm actually going to try and simplify it for this video for beginners uh, because it's about plate solving and whilst I covered uh, downloading the plate solving libraries and um, setting it up in Sequence Generator Pro, I do get a number of queries and a number of emails saying what is plate solving? I don't even know what it is so never mind setting it up I don't know what it is so that's the idea of this video I, I want to try and simplify it to, to give a basic introduction to plate solving and then give you a few examples of where I use plate solving and where it could come in useful for you so plate solving is essentially a piece of software that has a library of pictures thousands and thousands of pictures of the night sky all the way around the, around the globe and those pictures um, can be accessed via using different pixel scales. So that if you input a pixel scale, so your imaging scale that you're imaging at, that software will know exactly what that piece of sky should look like for your pixel scale. So if you uh, have a, an image, you've got an image of a random star field in the night sky, you can input that um, image into your plate solving software. So you can click on your software and say, solve this image. And what that software does then is it looks through its libraries, its thousands and thousands of images of the night sky, and finds one that matches your picture, your image that you've said solve. So it will match up the stars in exactly the same position as your image, and then it has a set of coordinates that knows exactly the point in the sky that that image is taken, so where your telescope mount should be pointing. So those coordinates are then the important thing. You can then put those coordinates into your mount. Your mount will slew around to those coordinates and the picture that you take then will match that picture um, that the plate solving software has, has solved. So that's essentially plate solving. It's just a piece of software that, that looks at a picture, identifies where the, the piece of sky is and then tells your mount, this is where you need to point to take that picture in the night sky. So because of that, it's actually really powerful for imaging multi-nights or you know, if someone else gives you a, a picture, say you download a picture from Astro Bin or something like that, or um, Telescopius, and you say, I want to go to this point. Will you then plate solve that image? Your telescope then has the coordinates for where that image is, and it will slew off to where that, that uh, picture needs to be taken. So it's a really good, really powerful piece of software, well worth getting into because you know, at the beginning when I started imaging, I was nudging my mount around one and two pixels to try and get the stars lining up and blinking between two images. And, and that's just time consuming. That, that's eating into your imaging time. So if you can get into plate solving, download a, a plate solving application, it's really well worthwhile because it can save you hours over the course of an imaging season. It can save you hours in time getting back onto a, a certain target. So I'm now going to show you uh, a few little ways that I use plate solving so you can see essentially what plate solving is, how it works and, and how it can benefit you. Okay, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to give you an example uh, of how and why you would um, use plate solving. Now, you know, this video isn't intended to be an in-depth talk about the technical aspects of plate solving, far from it. This is just meant to be a general overview of what plate solving is. Uh, as I've said previously, when um, I was first introduced to plate solving, people were saying to me, oh, you should plate solve the image. My first thought was, I have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. Don't even know what plate solving is, never mind how to use it. So that's the idea of this video, is just to show you what plate solving is and how it actually really does uh, save you an awful lot of time and trouble, uh, if you're an imager in particular, uh, in getting on a particular target so you, your, your plate solved image becomes your target and you know it really does make life easy so to give you an example here as most of you know i use sequence generator pro so i've just made a new target uh, with a profile so it's an empty target if you have a look there's no coordinates so my mount basically is not going to point anywhere or it's going to point to these coordinates so it's, it's not going to image anything but let's say for example um, a friend of mine has been imaging a, a new target and this is a new target to him and he says oh my god you, you really should image this target and he sends you an image so that's i'm going to open an image uh, 
he's imaging the elephant trunk so this I was imaging a while ago um, so now you look and you think oh yeah actually I, I really do want to image this target but of course you need to know where this target is so roughly speaking in the sky obviously you're going to need to check your planetarium to make sure that you can get this within your field of view and you can you can image it and your telescope isn't going to fail up on something or you're going to point at the floor um, so assuming you've done that and you know you can image it we want our mount now to go to this location but of course the mount doesn't know where this location is so what we need to do now is to plate solve this image so we we tell the software which I've, I've gone through previously on how to install and um, set up uh, plate solve 2 on sequence generator pro so we right click the image and then click on plate solve now we've got solve and we've got blind solve you can try solve first because if the image has already got information in the fits header then it will pick out that information and uh, plate solve based on that if it hasn't the blind solve basically just uses its whole library of um, images but obviously doesn't have any reference information so it, it can take a while to do so we'll click on solve plate solve 2 opens up and you'll see fairly quickly it should find it so it has so it's it knows now the plate solve software where this uh, this region is and it's now going to give me that information and you'll see there's the R and deck coordinates for this particular reference image along with the image scale now where it's useful is I can click on this checkbox and I can use the results as the reference image for target click OK when I now go to my sequence and look at my target you'll see the R and the deck coordinates are in there which is great so now my mount actually knows where to point for that particular target now where um, sequence generator pro is really good is I can click slew and the mount will now slew off to that location but it is at this point just that location but it doesn't mean to say that my telescope and my my camera is pointing exactly there because I could have some cone error so it means my mount is pointing in that direction but my telescope isn't necessarily exactly pointing there so what I can do now is click on the center now click yes so it's determining its reference location from this image this reference image and it's now taking a picture of its own it's, it's using the camera and it's taking downloading um, a reference image so you see it's actually downloaded an image from the camera and it's now plate solving that image and it's checking that with reference to our reference image so it's seeing where it should be pointing and where it's actually pointing so you see now it's actually moving my mount to where it needs to point based on based on the actual image that is downloaded and you'll see it's 32 pixels out overall so it's failed it's too far out to be a, a valid um, position so it's now downloading another image it's going to plate solve that image having moved the mount And it's just down uh, counting down now and once it's done that there you go so it's moving the mount again because it's obviously taken another image it needs to move the mount a little bit again and there you go this time it's a success I'm only two pixels out so what it's done the system has not only plate solved the original reference image it's used the coordinates from that it sent my mount off to where it should be it's downloaded an image from the camera to say this is where I'm actually pointing and it's then plate solved that and it's moved them out so as you can see I'm not far out from where I should be it's like rotation on this because this was done a little while ago so but that is the idea of plate solving so it, it just kind of gets you to the exact same location as the the reference image that you're going to be using and makes life so much easier than kind of you know taking a picture and and blinking between the two and then moving your mount a little bit the plate solving does that for you does that bit it gets the coordinates so um, hopefully you found this useful as i say it wasn't intended to be an in-depth thing it was just intended to be an overview view of what plate solving actually is so uh, if you found it useful please give it a like um, subscribe to the videos that will help me get more videos up and um, i will see you soon take care bye